Oh my land. Friends, I'm wearing a sweater in August because I did not pack to come home, so I have no clothes. It's fine. Ooh. Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Alex, I'm a rising M2 at Vanderbilt. And in this video, I wanted to talk about all of the ways that I studied in my preclinical year. At Vanderbilt, we do one preclinical year, so I am officially completed with my like classroom year and am onto the wards in just a few short weeks. But I wanted to talk about all of the ways that I studied in my preclinical year, mostly to give you ideas, but also to tell you that like, it's okay if you have to adjust to begin. I think the thing to realize is that your techniques probably will change and that's okay throughout the year based on what you're learning. I know for me, I think my technique changed every single block in some way or another. And it was just like based on what we were learning, based on what we were asked to know. Some blocks were more like concept heavy and some blocks were more memorizing bacteria heavy so like the way you study for those things are very different there is not one way to study if anybody's telling you that there is like the way to study that is not true um Anki might not work for all of you writing handwritten notes might not work for all of you so if you're hearing like you're not going to be successful unless you do this like that's not true but just know that you might need to adjust a million times and that's also normal so major themes throughout this video i incorporated like three big things in my studying in different amounts for different blocks handwritten notes and taking notes on PowerPoints was sort of like a theme that happened almost in every block save for one and then Anki was a big thing that I picked up a little bit later in med school I didn't start using it until like halfway through the year and then some outside resources like sketchy and first aid I think were the big like outside resources that I use obviously there's like YouTube channels that were helpful like osmosis ninja nerd those sorts of YouTube channels were very helpful but as far as like resource resources go um those were sort of the ones that were helpful so those are the techniques i used but let's let's get into the details so for block one we started with human blueprint architecture which is like genetics biochemistry those sorts of things and Throughout this block, I studied almost exactly the way I did in undergrad. I had just started med school. This was a six week block. So I did all handwritten notes. I didn't use any Anki, barely. I think I may have used a little bit for histology, but it was very confusing to me and I didn't like it. So I did mostly handwritten notes. Um, this again was most similar to how I studied in undergrad and the material was mostly review. So this was sort of useful for me. Writing things by your, writing things by your hand. Handwritten things are, as you probably know, like good for engaging your brain. So if you have time to do that, that's certainly something that you can look into. However, time becomes more limited as med school moves on. And this was a super, super time consuming practice. And so this was not something that I sustained all throughout med school. I did before the exam make like a list of topics, like I did an undergrad, a list of topics I thought were really important. And then I hand wrote summaries of each topic before the exam to study. And that was sort of how I approached that block. I used a little bit of first aid, but not very much. Probably could have used more, but I did fine on my boards. So you win and you lose. Anything to gain from that is like, you might study like you did in undergrad. You might have to find a more time affirming way to do that. And my regrets are I didn't use first aid as much, even though I did find on my boards, I think it would have been helpful for like organizing information. Pay attention to your buzzwords and those sorts of things. Those are important. For block two, this was microbes and immunity which is unfortunately less immunology and more microbes. A lot of memorizing drugs, a lot of memorizing bugs, not a lot of immunology. So this was a lot of memorization. I took notes on the PowerPoint. I did handwritten notes during this as well. I did limited Anki. I wish I would have used more because that would have been helpful for just rote memorization, which is what was being asked of me. And I did use some sketchy and I should have used more. Again, this is sort of based on what you're asked to learn during that block. Because this was like memorizing bacteria, memorizing drugs, I should have gone for a more like memorization style learning because writing notes is helpful for concepts for me, but maybe not so much for just like remembering facts. And so maybe finding those themes for yourself will be important. I wish I would have used more Anki. I wish I would have used more Sketchy. Um, Sketchy, if you're not familiar, is like a video service. They do like stories and cartoons for you to remember like associations with bacteria and drugs and stuff like that. Sort of expensive, but I 
found it to be helpful. Okay, so big summary for that is like things that help. Uh, I mean, it was just a mess, but I wish I would have used my regrets from that block. We're not using as much Anki. Could have used more first aid. I didn't really use a lot of first aid during that, but they do have good summaries of like different bacteria you need to know, different worms and whatnot you might need to know. First aid, use it. Okay, so block three it was our first 12 week block. This is homeostasis where we learned heart, lungs, kidney, and blood. And during this, I did a lot, a lot of handwritten notes. I had an iPad at this point, so I was doing lots of doodles, doing drawing out lots of mechanisms, drawing out anatomy, those sorts of things. That was incredibly helpful. I also started incorporating Anki sort of as like a daily practice or like every other, every other day practice where I was like working on, there was a lot of drugs during this block. And so working on memorizing those, I feel like in homeostasis, I really hit a groove. And if I could study any way if I had the stamina to study in any way for the rest of my career I hope that it's the way I started during homeostasis if you watched my notability video or my note taking on an iPad video that was the block that those notes were like sampled from so they were very detailed I felt like I was really digging deep into the information I found it interesting it was my favorite block it was very difficult but it was good I also incorporated a ton of first aid and I think it's nice to use the pre-made Anki decks where people incorporate incorporate first aid or like NBME material into the decks so that you already have that sort of in your working in your working Anki decks but if you're not using pre-made decks be sure to check out first aid resources because they do tell you basically what you need to be studying for the NBME and I found that to be very helpful especially because this was a ton of information covering that many body systems in 12 weeks. So I don't really have regrets from homeostasis. I think that was the best way I could have studied. Um, again, I did lots and lots of handwritten notes as well as Anki on top of that. And that was sort of like gold standard for me. Fourth block, EDR, endocrine digestion and reproduction. During this, I did a lot of Anki and a lot less handwritten notes. I feel like this material, I don't know if it felt more intuitive. I don't know if I felt like I knew the mechanisms already or if it was just like intuitive enough where I just needed to remember the little details through Anki, but I passed the exams and I mostly just did Anki, which I was kind of surprised by. I did, I did do some notes on like my Google Drive, but not a ton. I'm not really sure what was going on in my brain during EDR, but I passed. I feel like it was sort of a blur. This may have been like early winter into the spring where we were just sort of like gotta get through it. Ooh, yeah. I don't have much to say about that. If Anki works for you, do it. I don't know that Anki only was the best choice for me, but I passed the exam. So take that with a grain of salt. BBM, our last block, I did a ton of Anki. I did a ton of handwritten notes. But the thing is, I thought I was gonna study the way that I did an EDR, the fourth block in the fifth block. And I tried that and I wasn't passing my quizzes and nobody else was either. So like, wasn't my fault, but the material got really difficult and it was like something that I was having a hard time grasping. And I feel like that's the point where you need to think about switching your study habits. I switched to like taking more notes and drawing out more concepts and that was really helpful. And I started passing my quizzes and it may just be because they got easier because other people started passing them too. But the, like the learning pearl here is like, if you're struggling, maybe try something new, try something different, go back to something you've tried before if you've like now you're on the Anki grind but it's not working anymore it's okay to change because different blocks are gonna ask you to do different things I didn't I did not do as much first aid during this block mostly because I was having trouble keeping up with the material as it was and so adding on an extra resource just like wasn't it for me I also like I said like if so many mechanisms and I don't know if reading a summary of a mechanism I don't understand would have been helpful at the time it might be helpful now wasn't not at the time. Basically, what I'm here to say is you don't need a ton of fancy resources. I think an iPad was really helpful for me, but if you have paper and pen, that also works. Taking notes on the PowerPoint is helpful, especially if the lecturer gives you hints. So if you're like, oh, this might be important for the exam, like circle it or put it in your notes somewhere. It's nice to be able to circle it on a PowerPoint to like go back to, because sometimes you can't write as fast as they're speaking, unless you're just watching online and you can pause it, which a lot of you probably do. So iPad, Anki was helpful. Anki is free unless you buy the app, but the app is $30 in a one, 
think it's $30, but you only pay it once and the developers deserve to be paid for carrying us through medical school. Sketchy, you can buy. Osmosis was a helpful resource, it's just like a YouTube channel. First aid, get yourself a first aid book. It will be helpful, it will pay in dividends. You don't need the newest one. I had an old one and I survived. That's sort of a review of everything I used to study in my first year. I've passed everything so far to my knowledge. We don't have exam grades out for the last exam. I hope if they know that I didn't pass, they would let me know by now, but. Who knows, who knows what they're up to. I hope this was at least relatively helpful for you. This is a good summary of what I've been up to for the last year as far as studying goes. If you have specific questions about resources, techniques, or are struggling in any way, definitely let me know in the comments or you can DM me on Instagram if you prefer to go a little bit more of a private route. My Instagram is Ali Bon Bon. I'll put it right here for you to see. It's also in the description. Be sure to like and comment and subscribe and whatnot um, to please the almighty algorithm. The more times you click on something or watch my ads or watch the whole video, that is super helpful for not only the video doing well, but also for like, my income, which is negative $130,000 at this point. Thank you for being here. I hope this is helpful. Good luck finding your study strategy. If you have any tips for others, also leave them in the comments. I will talk to you next time. Bye.